What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John and Liquidator, coming back with another video. So it looked like the Chicago Sky is having more drama come out of the Windy City. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Chicago. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> days has been a rough one for Angel Reese and the Chicago Sky, man. It was not a good look yesterday without Kennedy Carter being out there. They simply got the beast put on them by Brittany Griner and the Phoenix Mercury. I just got to keep it real. Now, there has been a lot of drama transpiring online between Carter, Angel Reese, and this team. A lot of stuff been said on Twitter. We know it all sparked off over the unrivaled basketball league. Then it continued over with the ESPN. ESPN dropping the top 25 WNBA players. Whatever the case may be, they really need to get this situation under control because it could be sparking other drama on a team because none other than Angel Reese teammate Dana Evans had to go to Twitter last night and she erupted on fans let it be known her and Camilla Cardoso do not have any issues. She stated y'all find anything to drag my name in and it's getting weird lol me and Camilla is good stop trying to stir up bull ish so she let it be known that her and Camilla Cardoso relationship is good now, fans has been, you know, retweeting a bunch of these Chicago Sky players. I don't know if they trolling them or what, but at this point, these professional athletes do not know how to handle the pressure, bro. I just got to keep it real. This is a professional basketball league. Your name is going to be trending in the media. This is what you signed up for. Now, she replied to tweets as well. She stated, I was getting tagged, stink butt. So, she is definitely going on the attack when it comes to trolls or supposedly Chicago Sky fans. I don't know, but me personally, I feel like this is not a good look, bruh. You as a professional athlete, you indulging in Twitter drama right now, and your team is losing. Where is the leadership? Where is the focus on the basketball court? And this is why y'all could be losing games because y'all are not focused, bruh. I just got to keep it real. You don't see nothing like this going on with any other teams in the league but the Chicago Sky, bro. They always get into Twitter beef. They always get into Twitter arguments. You don't see this with the Indiana Fever, dog. Don't nobody call fans stink butts, but it is what it is. Moving on to another story. Brittany Griner, Khalil Cobb, all of them talked about the beats they put on Chicago last night. Let's roll the footage right now. I mean, it I always like going up against, you know, people my size. Um, and, you know, I look forward to it, look forward to it tonight. And, you know, I was happy with it. Um, you know, I'm just going to kind of read it. Like, I don't ever go into a game like, all right, let, let me try to, you know, stretch it out more on this one. Or, you know, I just kind of like read how they just read how they play me, what the matchup is. They send help. And that just kind of dictates what I want to do um, that night. But uh, I was happy. With, uh, definitely I think she should be very satisfied with that performance I know we are um, she was locked in from the jump I mean she's been locked in since I mean being over in Paris so uh, we all know what she can do uh, we've been on the other end of it in this in this arena <laughs> so uh, I'm just happy that I get to um, see it from the side of being her teammate I, I, gotta, I gotta get a defensive player to hear I mean, come on, it's this it's it's never ending. It's never ending for me anyway, but um the sky is really the limit. Ha ha. <laughs> the talk the last 24 hours was obviously about Carter, and then just you know, we didn't know how it was gonna be without Mabry. Um, just because of all the film we've had was with her, and then um obviously with Carter out, uh at that point, it was just like, we, we got to make this more about us and our execution and our focus defensively. And I thought our group bought into that. Uh, coming back from the break, um, you know, one thing she wants to get better at is the drive and kick stuff. And uh, 
you know, she probably can tell you she had some discussions with some high NBA, high level NBA guys and, and what they see. And, um, you know, she's still trying to evolve uh, when she's willing to share it. Now they have a decision to make. And um, she did a great job along with with Tosh. You know, those are the two that play downhill for us and they're just so important for our offense. Um, one of the things we've talked about in in uh, over the break was trying to get her at the at the ball at the elbow more, just because she is such a, a really good passer. And then you know, in the post, teams have a decision to make, and uh, that's right now she BG. I'm just talking about you in here. I'm just talking about you in here. So she did a great job passing the ball all night, but I was really proud of her defense. North Philly, so she's got a swag anyway, <laughs> right? So, uh, but that's what we love about her. I think. You know, just what a story, like her career and, yeah. and how far it's come along from being a role, <clears throat> excuse me, a role player, a player that's came off the bench to a finals MVP to all star and now an Olympian. And so um, if there's anyone in our league that has kind of seen everything, it's it's Kai. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things that I've I've kind of talked to her a lot about is like a lot of star players in our league and the NBA or whatever professional league, like they've never had to play a different role. They've always been the best player. And so she can help some of our younger players that maybe aren't getting as much minutes as they'd like and keep working. And this is what's in front of you. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously she's got a great way, a great smile. Um, her confidence is as high as ever and it, it should be. And I'm glad that, you know, she she probably didn't get as many minutes, you know, throughout the tournament as, as she would like, just from a personal competitive standpoint. But to do it in the gold medal game and down the stretch, again, talking about the fourth quarter and her just making plays, that's that's kind of what she's done ever since we've gotten her. I mean, I'm sure I know she's done it here before, but, you know, she's not afraid of those moments. And um yeah, it's it's fun to see her. Uh, I'm sure she's going to be feeling good tonight coming back here, and she should. She had a hell of a career. That was the Phoenix Mercury setting the record straight about last night basketball game going up against the Chicago Sky. Now, we know that the Mercury is headed to Indiana, and I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a different story tonight because they're taking on a red-hot Indiana fever going up against basketball sensational player Caitlin Clark. She making her return. They're about to put the beats on them. I'm calling it right now. Keep them bells on so you do not miss the updates. And until next time, though, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake